Welcome back to this Let's Play of King's Bounty, Warriors of the North. Uh, so I've gone back... What is this right here? Warriors Altar. Oh, okay. I'm like, wait a second. Did I just miss this this whole time? Uh, I went back and I got our armor back up to full strength. We got our Warrior Maidens back up to full strength, even with that cheap shot last time. And as I was leaving to take us over, you know, to the southern section, like we saw last time we wanted to go down to, I realized there's this little offshoot right here I, I've never been to. I just kept skipping by it, apparently. So let's go beat these skeletons to death and get this altar. And this will probably get us to level 13 as uh, as well, so that's nice. Um, do they have any ranged units? They have one group of skeletons. Well, let's just wait time, I'm going to say. One, two, three, four, five... Let's her speed fall. One, two, three, four. Now let's move her here and huck a, huck a spear of wrath. Oh yeah, that just about kills them. Oh, it does kill them. Excellent. And now they don't have any ranged units, we can let them come to us. They stole our treasure. Big thieving bums. Uh, good Viking Vortex. Eh, that's probably worthwhile just to throw that down. Oh, it doesn't even do that much. It kills seven to eight. Well, that's fine. It could crit, potentially. Oh no. Fine. Did it, s did it slow that guy? Oh, it did. Freeze. Full damage each turn, their speed is reduced. Oh. Forgot about that. That's nice. Uh. Oh, he could just kill them? Perfect. Let's take him out one by one. Let's... Uh, let's give it. Oh wait. Called a battle. Excuse me. I'm pressing the wrong button. Now, who should I give another turn to? But I think the halflings are a good choice. Or slingers, I guess I should say. I mean, they look pretty short. Maybe I guess they're not that short. I want to call them halflings, though. They remind me of. Uh, if any of you have played Heroes of Might and Magic Three, which I'm sure plenty of the people watching this channel have. The, uh, I feel like they're called halflings, but I can't remember, but the units that are effectively the slingers in that game. <laughs> That's what they remind me of. I guess let's just charge forward a little bit. I mean, I'm not too worried. It's just some skeletons. I was expecting them, though, to put down... Oh, there we go. To put down bones so they could transport around and be a real pain. There we go. Luckily, we... Yeah, these units can take a few hits and not just die. Ooh, well, we might lose it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Thanks for made, I guess. I, I mean, I knew they could teleport around, but for some reason I wasn't thinking they were all going to be able to teleport on top of her like that. Dang. Always something. That's fine, though. Because we can berserk and go in a rage and start killing people. My poor warrior maidens. I thought they were safe there. But I thought wrong. The town's right there, even though I don't think the town had a lot of them left, so. Oh, I was gonna have her do a resurrection. Shoot. Berserkers finished the job, though. Oh well. <laughs> I can't, can't do anything about that either. We Mistakes were made. On the plus side, we leveled up. And we got some leadership, so since, since we're by the town, we could up our, uh, our troop numbers back up. Oh, magic room too. Yeah, I can't believe I missed all this stuff before. Ancestors Vault, 170 XP. Fine, fine, fine. All right, well let's let's just go back into town real quick. Um, for multiple reasons, because we can. Yeah, we can hold on up. We can have another Jarl even. Wow, a little bit of extra XP really helped. Uh, Warrior Maidens for sure. Yeah, so see, I don't know if we have any more now. That might be all the Warrior Maidens we can get from around here, so... Hmm. We'll grab a Jarl, though. Axe Throwers. Uh, let's see if we can get Slingers. Uh, I don't remember where, though. What was this? Oh, plus five mana. Staff of the Herbs. Herb Sage. Sure. Don't want that, but thanks. 
Oh, there's slingers. I say, I feel like somebody had slingers. I don't see any more berserkers either. Interesting. What is this? Oh, hello. Oh, how much money do we have? We got plenty of money. Let's grab all these. And I didn't buy from this guy previously. Plus 150 leadership, or we can use it and just gain 100. Perfect. Let's uh do that. Yep, Paul gained 100 free leadership. Thank you very much. So, let's see here. Um, and hold more slingers now. Yeah, we could throw hold another axe thrower. Luckily, I think I have, yeah, I have a few berserkers in my reserves. Yeah, we might only have 16 berserkers and the 15 warrior mains. We may not have any more backups, though, so we really gotta try to watch it on losing troops because eventually, you know, you'll wear out of troops and have a problem. So are any of these good? 100% defense of berserkers. Oh, the shield. I think my shield's pretty good, though, right? Yeah. Is everybody a plus 3 defense and plus 5 for the warrior mains? So the warrior mains are really gonna have plus 8. Yeah, that's all right. We'll just uh, hold off on that. Let's look at leveling up here. Oh. I have enough to get meditation because I want to get distortion magic. I actually almost can get distortion magic. Really? Chaos, I don't care. Like, I'm probably going to stop where I'm at once I get Distortion and maybe level up the actual magic schools sometimes. But I'm not going to probably ever go down to this bottom section. Huh. Um... Well, let's, let's see what other choices are, I suppose. Oh, what's reserve give you? Oh, makes it so you could take people out of the reserve and add them to your army. I mean, that could be useful in very specific hard fights, but that's... I'm not paying for that. Not 12. 12 mind runes. No, no. Good. I don't care about that one. I probably don't want that one. No... Like that's the thing. Plus one to morale is fine, but it's not worth the same thing, the cost. Or like this, reducing the morale penalty. Probably not worthwhile. 10% da let's see. Probability of returning 10% damage incurred by an enemy warrior. Hmm, I'm not positive what they're saying, but I'm guessing maybe this is a like a Thorn's Aura. Where you get hit. I'm guessing you return 10% of that. So, like, if if I'm reading it right, if they do 100 points of damage to you, you'll do 10 points of damage back to them, for instance. And as it levels up, the chance increases. So at the end, you have a 20% chance of that happening, which doesn't sound that good. A only a 20% chance to return 10% of their damage. Yeah, I mean, tactics is nice. That's weakness. Chance of allies inflicting a critical hit, 3%. Chance of allies to escape a critical hit. Now that's a nice one. Increases our crit chance and gives us a chance to not get hit. Learning gives not only me more experience, but also my troops. Hmm... It may take diplomacy, not specifically because I want that. Now, glory's all. The problem I have with this glory being down here, I don't know why they did this, is normally glory would be one of the top, top abilities in most games, and that's because by the time I get all the way down here and go through three levels for 700 leadership, by that time it's not so useful. I mean, seven, I mean it's not bad. I take 700 leadership. I just don't know if I'll pay the cost for it at that point. Kind of wish Jarl 
and glory had been switched. Because percentage stuff is nice once you have a high leadership number, the flat numbers are better early. I might consider taking this if it was in this spot. Uh, Power of Spirit's nice. And then Might. Look at that Icy Rage before. That one seems nice. Oh, I could take Runic Power now? I think this. I think we want to take this one because this is the one that gives a chance to reuse Rage skills. Up to a maximum of 20% at the top. At the high end, you get up to 60% chance. So we're going to take the Runic Power for sure. We can still take Meditation? Sure, let's take that. And then we can save up and get Distortion eventually here. Um, I don't know if we can really do much now. No, we're too broke now. A sense Weakness would be nice. Or le even Learning would be alright. A point in it. I probably won't do more, but one point would be okay. Especially because that unlocks tactics if I wanted it. And that extra XP, er, same thing. It's an earlier skill, so I kind of would want to take it if I was going to take it, though. I suppose I really only need two mind runes and one magic rune. Either way, for either of these. Maybe we'll find those before we even level up next and we could take one of those skills. I'm not sure which one would be better, though. XP to level up every me and my units quicker. I really like this ability. Like I'll probably max this ability out with sense weakness. Seems excellent, because eventually you have a 7% chance, increased chance of a critical hit, and a 7% chance to escape a critical. It's not 7% is not huge, but it all it all adds up. Alright, well either way. I think we're back to full strength. We're actually much better than full strength now since we leveled up and stuff. Um I wanted to look real quick at our quest log. Oh, here it is right here. I was going to say, who wants those mask pieces? We've got to show Runevald a piece of the mask. Aw. Oh. Runevald. It's been a good week or so since I've gotten to sit down and do a recording. I'm trying to remember... Where Runevald was. Uh, completely blanking on it too. There's somebody, somebody's over here just yelling, "Hello, he's right there." Soothsayer may be over here. I don't remember at all for some reason. I'm completely blanking on it. Well, we won't worry about it right now. I'm pretty sure it's somebody that's not on this island, though. So, um, so we haven't been this way yet, I don't believe. Oh, hello. Well, maybe that's true. I just ran right into these necromancers. <laughs> Um, let's see, two stacks of ults. I have a lot of rage right now. Let's say I can almost Lords of the North. Um, they're going to go third and fourth. Um, what could we do to maybe gain... All nature, uh... Magic Missile? Will that do enough to give me two Rage, I wonder? 176. Kills one. Let's see if that does anything for me. Come on, Rage. Oh, it gave me one. Shoot. Uh, he can't reach anybody, so you can wait. So if she takes her turn and hucks the spirit somebody, we'll get enough Rage... But it'll no longer be my turn. My mana vortex might kill somebody. I'll put this down. Of course, it's levels one through three, which means the necromancers won't be. Yeah, the people I'd want to grab it won't be affected. The bears or the wolves will be affected. Um. That's twelve hundred. Pretty good damage, though. I guess I could put it there and slow them down, sure. Let's do it. Put a pile of gold down. And then it should be checking to see if we can take another turn, which we cannot. It's just chance. 
Let's spear one of these uh, guys. I can't remember. I did the rune of attack. Did it increase my damage? Oh, slightly. Not a huge amount, but hey. Uh, how many losses did we get? Let's see. Slingers. Three are killed. Looks like that's it, though. Nobody else got killed. Just some slingers. Okay, that's not terrible. Let's move them up and grab this. Ooh, a magic rune. That was a good grab. Okay. Um, let's attack rune on you. Can I give her another turn? Yes. Because I feel like you can only... With her ability, she can only resurrect people that died in the last, like, turn or two. It's not very forgiving, so if I could have her do it immediately, it'd be great. Oh, good, the wolves grabbed it. They won't howl, howl and cripple my slingers. That's perfect. So that worked out excellent. And they had to kill them, which is nice. Um... I if I should just have him go after me and say he could kill the bears. If I have him charge these guys and eat the counterattack, it's probably going to kill them. Let's do that instead. Yeah, there's only one bear. Perfect. Um, so I want to call a Valhalla. Yep, there we go. We'll get all three of them back. I may not be able to get a perfect out of this, but we'll try. He resurrected. Fine. Well, not resurrected, I guess. Oh, like it's kind of a resurrection. He's bringing him back to life, but he's bringing him back to life as a uh, as a ghost. Correct. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, he cannot run. Let him wait. Can he get over here and axe throw? Yes. Okay, let's do that. How are we doing on... Uh, I guess Lords of the North does do a lot more damage compared to Viking Vortex, so I might as well save for it. Okay. I might be able to hit this whole group if I get enough here. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, I have enough. I have enough. Can we hit... Oh, no, it looks like I can't... get both necromancers in it, unfortunately. Yeah, oh well. I was hoping to get them both. Which means maybe I should use the slingers to huck a rock at one of these guys instead. If he, if he takes a counterattack, it doesn't matter. What's Battlecry actually do? It terrifies, but one through three, which none of these guys are. Yes, yeah, so that doesn't matter. It's just Rune of Attack. So he can take the counterattack, and then we can have our Berserkers potentially go after him. Actually, he can't reach, can he? No. Oh. Dang, he can't Berserk either. I guess his abilities got locked by the Necromancer. Um. Hmm. Can we increase their initiative? Haste gives plus one to speed. That would allow him to not get to anybody. Okay. Um. Yeah. Dang. He can't do anything this turn. So maybe it's worthwhile to just call of nature because this will give a unit effectively to just keep them busy. It gives these necromancers and people something to shoot at, pretty much. Is he slow also? Oh, he's stunned. I see, okay. Okay, here we go. So he could go after these guys. 
could probably kill them. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything else or there right now. We could Berserk and just let him go after somebody. I don't know who he's going to go after if I Berserk. Um, his movement is a four. One, two, three. So if I move him here and tell him to Berserk, he'll at least attack like one of these guys, probably. Let's do that. I take the rune of attack? Yes. We're going all in. Charge. Hopefully he hits the necromancer and just slices him in half, but we'll see. Ooh, hoo, hoo, yes. Okay, well that's what we wanted. Perfect. Oh, lost two slingers. So much for my perfect. Oh well. I think we're in good shape now. Um... Yeah, these ranged units can batter these guys down, and the Necromancer will just die. The Berserker is just going to go over and kill him. Yeah, no, that was perfect. Okay. You did. Wham. Um, yeah, I'm just going to lose those two slingers, I guess. I don't know. I guess the snakes never really did me much good, but that's fine. Yeah, no. snakes never really did anything, but eh, just mana. We don't really use it very often. That's unfortunate. We lost those two, though. Boy. Hmm. Priest control. I really don't like that, because just don't hit my allies with it. Increased damage. Rest four turns. Ouch. I'll still probably take it, though. Just expensive. Oh, what's this? Equal in strength. Plague Rock. We've got... I was saying, we got a lot of rage. Let's attack him. Our rage is quite high right now. This zombie, unsatisfied with a subterranean life, has gathered an army of whites intent on wreaking havoc and destruction across the lands. Got a nice defense. Yeah, his defense is high. Nothing else, though, really. Um, we have some skeletons. Let's Lords of the North on, uh, yeah, these guys, I think. Oh, I see, that's him there. I could just kill this. First cross. Let's wait, though. Um... Do a call of nature again to get something out there to give them something else other than my my units to hit and ah uh, nice so she got rid of all the archers we have to deal with the fact this guy can spell cast though uh what happened there oh oh that's really nice the vampire bats used their turn up getting rid of that ice spike it's kind of a waste of their turn that's excellent. There we go, get rid of that. And we hail of stones, maybe? It's not bad. Let's let's do Brune of Attack and Hail of Stones on these guys. Nice. And let's give another turn to I guess the slingers, they can throw some rocks at somebody. We do have to worry about, I guess, those skeletons can move forward like they did, uh, you know, they can teleport around, potentially, but I don't think it should be too bad. Well, let's just move the snakes up. The hope is the snakes take, absorb some damage here. Plague Grog casts Helplessness on the Jarls. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Oh, perfect. Well, that's exactly what we wanted. Those guys just wasted their turn doing that. Oh no, that worked out. That worked out excellent. Dash. Rune of attack. Berserk. Squirrel went berserk. 
We might be able to get a perfect here, because Plague Grog may not get another turn. He's gonna... The Berserkers are gonna kill somebody immediately on their turn. Can I kill this? Uh, no. Well, Crit would kill him, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't waste his turn on those. <sighs> there we go. Nice. Went after the big stack. That's what I'm talking about. Um, how could we kill these? Where's his gift? Would that work on these guys? Don't say they're level three. Let's give it a shot. Battle's about over. If we can get the bats to grab some gold and kill themselves, that'd be great. Okay, because she's going to kill them, yeah. So if they kill themselves, the battle's over and we'll get a perfect. Come on, bats. Go for the gold. Oh, they didn't. Oh, a berserker survived, though. It's like that. What caused them to not take there? Because they're undead? Or are they just immune to that? Because they they're in the right level. Yeah, see, immunity to mind spells. I wonder if it's considered a, uh, a mind spell. It may be. I think it all still worked out, though. Yes. Perfect. Oh! We got another piece of the mask, too. Interesting. Alright. I was say, can we, like, put these together? Because I feel like maybe we've got all the pieces now. No. We'll probably have to take them back to the soothsayer. That's fine. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Yeah, lots of gold, apparently. Ten leadership. Well, anything buried around here? No. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay. There's a guy with his bag to me. Can we backstab him? I believe we have enough for Lords of the North. Perfect. We really, as long as we get rid of the uh, skeletons here, this battle is just over. This is a blessing one. Yeah, so let's have him wait like usual. Like a spear of, spear of wrath of these guys. Ooh, almost. Eleven. I guess we'll just wait, because this... Oh, well, I can just kill them with this. Can I use this one, actually, and kill them anyways? Yes. Okay, perfect. Use the slingers and get a little extra damage in on the other guys. Um... But as long as we play this smart, we should be able to get a perfect, because, I mean, the zombies are too slow. Let our two frontliners get up there. We just need to time our berserk. Jarl's got blessed. Blunt. I'm trying to think if the berserkers... If the berserkers can one-shot one of these stacks or not. I suppose let's try to lower their numbers down since we don't know who the Berserkers are going to go after. And we're going to just do it. We're going to let them go here. But I don't know if they could one-shot one of these stacks or not. Probably the 38. I don't know about the 58. Am I worried? Let's find out. Oh, no, he's going after the small one, so they're just dead. I mean, next turn he'll go after that stack probably means I could weaken them up. Sure, let's do that. Oh, well. Why? Why? <laughs> Game, come on now. That ain't right. So, <laughs> so the Berserkers, for some... Instead of attacking this guy in their Berserker rage, they just stepped onto the... Like necro energy that zombies leave behind and lost eleven guys. That's just terrible. That ain't even right. Wow, that feels bad. Wow. I guess that's something I shouldn't. I guess I shouldn't put on, on berserk. I didn't think they'd be that stupid though. Like where were they going? I don't think they could reach this guy or this one. Speeds a four. Yeah, I don't know. One, two, three. Oh, they maybe could have reached that guy. That must have been what they're trying to do. That's annoying. Oh, she can resurrect all 11 of them? Wow, that's powerful. Okay, that's nice. 
Let's see if we can survive now, I guess. That still feels bad, though, that they just would jump right into, effectively, their death, because it's, it's that deadly. Hopefully this guy will grab some coins and kill himself. I'll just... Oh, what's his speed? Two. So I'll just move up here. Yeah, well, this might kill this guy, I'm thinking. Yep, perfect. We only got one guy left. Oh, the Zerkers are going to go after him. Shoot, if they don't kill him, he's going to... Uh-oh. I'm going to take a loss, aren't I? Oh, barely not. What's his health, I wonder, Ed? I'm not going to get to Z. Oh, no. He's, he's still got, like, ten hit points. He's fine. All right. No, that's, that's good. It all worked out. All good. And there's this thing. What that is? Is it crystal? Sure. Make sure there was nothing buried on this side. Nope. Looks suspicious. Oh. A might run hidden under this tree. Oh my gosh. Definitely make sure you're moving your camera around because easily could have missed that. What is this? Weak. Mind drone. Actually, must be getting really close to be able to get that ability I was talking about before. What do we got here? Um, no ranged units, ranged units at all. So we'll wait. Almost should have our weight. Well, there's no reason, I guess, not to spare of wrath somebody. Free damage. Um, I got Viking Vortex. I guess I might as well. It'll take a while for me to gain the amount of rage for any of my other abilities. Uh, he can't hit anybody, so let's just grab this. Oh! I've got a, the ability to go again. Hmm. So that's something to keep in mind. It lets me go again. But these are on cooldown now. I really need more abilities for that ability to really be useful. Like, I could cast Crystal's Gift, but I'd have to have a lot of rage already built up. Hmm. Okay, well, no, that's good to know about that ability, that it's not... I probably shouldn't keep leveling it up until I gain some more abilities. I hopefully will kill the bats here. I believe I should. Yes. And let's do as usual. We'll give the slingers an extra turn. Move up. That's fine. Just sit there and wait for these guys to move up then. Nice. That's the thing. This army really doesn't have the mobility or ranged abilities to fight us, which is nice. He's going to give another turn to the ghost, though. Which is fine, I suppose. We're just going to... Berserk. I mean, he should be able to one-shot, I think, any stack here. No matter who he goes after. Or not. Oh, I didn't hear say I didn't one shot him, but I guess that all works out. Um yeah, those ghosts apparently are a little tougher than you'd uh, think. Uh just gave everybody something. What is it? Plague. Oh, joy. Well, isn't that nice? Well, we can curse his gift now. Sure, put it right in front of the zombies. They can kill themselves. There we go. Okay. Yep, I want to range units. Let him grab the gold. We'll be done here. Nice. Well, that's pretty good. Three perfects. I think we got in a row there. That's excellent. Oh, he doesn't even... I guess he's not going to grab the gold. Sorry! Oh, no, that's excellent. Another perfect. I wonder how many... How we're doing on those. Well, oh, there's that spirit... Or, I guess, spirit rune. I keep calling it Call of Mind runes, because that's what they were previously. But, uh... Let's... 
Oh yeah, 46 out of 50. We'll gain an extra 150 leadership if we get four more perfects. Excellent. And also... Oh yeah, we need one more mind or spirit rune and we can get one of these abilities. That would be nice. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll stop right here for today's video and next time we'll uh, we'll continue to explore around this area. Getting close to getting done in Fastland, so... Oh, and you know what? There's a... A magic rune over here. It's not the rune I wanted, but there's a magic rune over there, so we'll take that too. We'll collect all this loot real fast, and then we'll quit. If you guys have any thoughts, or comments, or questions, let me know down below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.